Okay, so here we are. I'm going to do a video on how to set up your AlphaWise U3 because so far there's nothing online about this topic and it took me a while to figure out how to do it but I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who just bought the machine and have no idea what to do. So, uh, it's very important to follow my guidelines because the user manual doesn't have the correct information on it which is uh, kind of a no-no but it's okay because the machine turns out to be pretty good. Anyway, when you set up your um, your settings, you want to have 220 by 220 by 250. Do not go with the user manual. The user manual says 300 by 300 by 400, which is incorrect. You are going to get um, some problems with that. All right. So then, extruder extruder uh, only one. Heated bed, yes. And then it's up to you whether you want to use this option or not. Uh, then square, and then usual rep wrap Marlin. If you want to use the USB port, usually it'll be either COM3 or COM4, and then the baud rate depends on how quick your uh, how quick your USB port is. All right, let's jump into the other settings that are important. I'll go over here to the basic settings. And as you can see, I put this as 0.3. This is usually if you want to print really fast in large models, you'll do this. Otherwise, you want to shrink this value down to 1 or 1 1.5. Uh, thickness depends on how thick you want the shell of your um, models to be. If it's getting really thin, you probably want to put this value to 2 or above. Same with this one. And then uh, speed, I like to go with 60, but um, the machine is capable of much higher speeds. You could go up to 80 or beyond that as well. As far as temperature, depending on where you live, if it's very cold, you want to put this up to 210 or a little bit higher. If it's very warm, you want it to go down to 210. Same thing with this. Uh, I put it at 60, but you could go lower than 50 if it's really hot where you live. Uh, support materials, you could put it everywhere if the uh, model is very complex. Let's say you're um, trying to build a 3D uh, model of a human being you probably want to put everywhere uh, if you're just doing some cubes or you know something simple you don't need any support then let's see adhesion um, if you use a raft that means you can start off your prints really fast or a brim if you do not then I suggest you start your um, lower la lower layers going really slowly so that it doesn't just rip off the build plate. And it's 1.75 diameter for your filament and the flow is usually 100 depending on how you guys like it. And then we'll go to the advanced settings. Alright, so in the advanced settings what's important is your nozzle size is 0.4 stock. Unless you've changed it, this is what you need. Speed is 45. Uh, you can go lower or higher, but depending on this value, you will get stringiness. Distance is about 6. Then uh, initial layer thickness, well, it depends on what you want, but this is an okay value for the machine. And then you don't have dual extrusion, but I would just leave this the way it is. Then travel speed, 60, you can go higher but you can also adjust this from the machine itself so don't worry too much about that bottom layer speed I would say 30 or if the print is having trouble to stick to the uh, build plate use more glue and put this down to 1 or uh, sorry to 10 or to 20 depending on I mean the lower the value the, the better if you want a good ad adherence to the um, build plate and then what else? Um, this usually I'd leave it at five or six. I wouldn't mess too much about with this value. 
then make sure the cooling fan is on since you have a good one on the machine. All right, as far as the rest of um, how Cura works, or Cura, let's say this is your model. If you print it out this way, it will take forever to print. So usually I will print it, I will go down here and I will rotate it and print it like so. Uh, try to get a good value so that it's nice and flat on the build plate. And if else fails, you can always slice it using slicer. Cut it in half through the middle. And this way you can then assemble it later on. Anyway, I hope all this information um, will be helpful to you and you'll get amazing prints from your um, AlphaWise U3. Enjoy!